I'm ELD, and this is Fast Effect. Oh. There we go. Double Speed Magic the Gathering from ELD's Time Ball Games. Going to leave that on. Probably going to need some extra runtime on this one if I had to guess. Oops, all spells. Not known for a long, drawn-out game. Mulling down to just five. We'll see what Arthur's able to do. We have a Retrofitter Foundry and some Ornithopters for John on Blue Black Ninjas. And that Retrofitter Foundry is going to be able to upgrade these Thopters pretty easily. Now into a 4-4. Four -four. So this is some serious beats. Four damage coming in. No ninjas, though. The other Thopter staying back, though that too will be upgraded to a 4-4 four -four in short order, thanks to the power of the Retrofitter Foundry, in all likelihood. We have a Changeling Outcast. This is not looking good for Oops. Another Enter the Battlefield Tap Land. Oops, all spells. A real glass cannon. Uh, a deck that I've played around with quite a bit. I was excited by the printing of the new uh, modal dual face cards. The mythic cycle that bolts you as it enters the battlefield, yet comes into play untapped. That allows you to run eight or more, potentially, lands in your deck. That is supposed to be landless. So, a very powerful addition to that kind of all-in glass cannon strategy. And it looks like it's going to be lethal here, unless Arthur combos off. Let's see what he can do. A land tapped, and an Elvish Spirit Guide. Going to soak up a little bit of damage, but that's... Well, it'll keep him alive for a turn. Oh, daze. Dazing an Elvish Spirit Guide. What has this game come to John taking that one down Arthur essentially just uh, stopping his mulliganing at five but it really wasn't a good enough hand there are some four card hands that can just straight up win the game and I would pretty much advocate mulling to those I mean if you have land dark ritual lotus petal balustrade spy uh, that's actually a first turn win uh, similarly even just land Dark Ritual Undercity Informer is a three-card hand that's potentially uh, at least going to get there on turn two. So, you know, if you're on the draw, that could translate into a first-turn win as well. I really think this deck has to mulligan until it has one of those first-turn explosive plays. Anything else, and I think you're just better off playing Storm and having cantrips to try and improve the quality of your hand and be able to combo off either with some disruption or protection and oops all spells this doesn't really seem like a, a deck that's geared to be able to do that i have seen some builds that try and run the blue what is it seagate something uh restoration perhaps uh, let me know if that's the right name of that card uh, and also run some cantrips and kind of like a storm hybrid-esque build i don't know it's probably not really where you want to be Though I wouldn't be surprised down the line uh, if there's a deck that uses Force of Will along with that. Now, that is within the realm of possibilities, depending on how powerful these effects get. And here we have a turn one Chrome Mox into a Dark Ritual. I hope that's not the Dread Return. That had got imprinted on that. This deck might not be able to win without its Singleton Dread Return. We have a Cabal Therapy, which gets Force of Will... But Force of Negation is still there along with some blue cards. Was that a Back to Basics? I can't imagine there's not something better in the sideboard than Back to Basics. Though it is blue. And now we have Balistrad Spy. Oh no. Force of Negation not used. Of course, the end of this combo is a creature, so Force of Negation has to be used on the Ritual Effect or on the Discard. So, like, Force of Negation stopping that Cabal Therapy was an option. Um, yeah, John had the tools to not die here. And it looks like he's just going to get KO'd. John scooping it up. Arthur apparently finding another 
or a dread return yeah i tried rewatching that a couple of times i really didn't follow it it looked like there was a bridge from below but that doesn't really make any difference i didn't see a second dread return i'm not sure what i'm missing there uh, perhaps if our author sees this he can clarify but it did look like a a uh or maybe it was an agadim's awakening on the chrome box would that make any sense no there's no reason why you'd ever want to do that hmm I mean, there's some reasons, but it's a short list. You're better, better, going to be better off playing the land. Hmm. Well, let's see here. That was a quick game, too. That's what Oops is designed to do. And we are now in the early game for Oops. I mean, early game really is, I suppose, sideboarding. Mid game is probably your hand selection, and then the end game is actually just playing out your first turn. As far as Oops All Spells goes, it is blazing fast. In my gold fishing, it was over a 70% turn one win percentage, but of course, that's against a punching bag. Everybody looks like a boxing champion in the gym the question is what happens when you stand across from somebody ready to hit you back and as we saw there with force of will and force of negation ninjas absolutely has some tools to slow down oops and it can also have a very fast clock to get them out of there before they draw naturally out of a bad spot oops has a lot of single use mana sources now the new lands do change that greatly but when you're using Dark Rituals, Spirit Guides, Lotus Petals as your mana base, it can be pretty disheartening to have your spell countered. It's essentially a, a 2, 3, or, or maybe 4 for 1. I guess technically maybe a 5 for 1 if you're just all fast mana like Lotus Petals and Spirit Guides. And we've got a Changeling Outcast here for John. Legacy Playable. That thing is a ninja and a thopter. Tons of synergy in the deck. And here, Arthur coming out with a land and a chrome mox. Chrome mox is going to throw a cabal therapy John's way. And sees a force of negation. So no force of will. Oops would love Gataxian probe would be so good in this deck giving much greater utility to the cabal therapies and also just checking to see if they can stop you period now john able to ninjutsu out draw a card he still has that force and negation which can be used to throttle arthur's manor mana which is oh no no throttling that mana that's just the simian spirit guide and now another land, and here we go. John had a counterspell, it just doesn't line up. And from here, just going through the entire deck. Getting all the Narcomoebas, we see these Pact of Negations. There's a Thassa's Oracle, which will be targeted with a Dread Return. Cabal Therapies can clear the way first to get rid of that Force and Negation. Bridge from below in there to keep the body count high enough to make sure that with Dread Return it will in fact be able to be flashbacked and get that Thassa's Oracle for the win. So, oops, all spells, taking it down despite the pitch counters in John's hand. That is all for this one, but don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.